All right, so we have EDIUS open, and I'm going to show you how to do a chroma key with EDIUS and walk you through some steps to try to fine tune it and make it as good as you possibly can. The first thing you want to do is shoot your shot of your talent on your green screen. And for this one, uh, the talent Rena here, she was a full body, so we could see her whole body. And one thing you want to make sure of when you're shooting a green screen is you want fairly consistent light throughout so you want to uh, have it very flat lighting for the most part on the green screen and that'll just help with the key uh, later when you bring it into EDIUS. You want to avoid as many shadows falling on the background as possible but this is a pretty good one. Um, there's not too many shadows it's a pretty flat lighting scheme on this green screen. So the first thing we want to do is well, what I like to do is I like to grab the whole clip of the whole shot and I just chroma key the whole thing because then I don't have to do a chroma key for each individual shot if I cut it up and move the talent around and cut out spaces and other stuff. So I, I just lay the whole thing down there. So the first thing I like to do because it saves me later is click on my clip, hit F7 or go up to go over to information layouter. The quick key is F7 layout. And you might say, why are you doing layouter here? Well, the reason is because if you do a chroma key, for some reason a black line shows up if I move the talent off the screen like this. This will show up on the talent because the background is set to black. So what I like to do is go down to opacity and color and click on color of background this little box here click the little eyedropper here go up to the green screen click that color and you'll see it show up in this little box that's telling you that that's the color selected hit OK and you'll see it show up as green right there then lastly you gotta change the background color to 100 percent and then hit OK so now once you do your chrome key if you move the talent around, there won't be that black outline. So it's a step a lot of people run into. Um, but that's a workaround on that. So next we want to actually do a key out our talent, or key our talent. So in effects, go all the way down almost to the bottom where it says keyers, and there's one that says chroma key. There's also luminance key and track map, but for this demonstration, we're going to use chroma key. Luminance key would be if you want to key out like a, a brightness or um, a darkness of a shot. So if you had a really bright sky and for some reason you want to key that out, um, you're keying according to the luminance of the shot, not according to the chroma or the color of the shot. So drag that down onto your clip on the gray part of your clip, and you'll see it'll immediately make a little auto select. And then to fine tune that, you just click on the gray part on your clip, and go over to your information bar, and you'll see chroma key. Double click on that, and that'll show up this little window. And the first thing you can do if you want to select a color is you can grab this little eyedropper and you pick a different color, and you can see how the key changes depending on what color on there I pick. If I pick um, red, it'll get rid of all the red. So you can see some of her skin left, the red. So we're going to select green because that's what we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of this background. And we're going to try and fine tune that so you don't see this edge around Rena. So sometimes you can turn on this soft edge. It works okay. Um, if you turn on this soft edge, you can go up to detail and you can fine tune these little meters and you'll see how that all of the green starts to disappear and you can go by chroma which would be the 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 color of green or you can go by luminance which would be the brightness of that green or you can go by the YUV curve and change that as well so once you think you have a pretty fairly decent chroma key um, there's not a lot of edges around Rena or anything like that. You'll want to turn on key display 
And the reason for that is because that'll really give you a good sense. See how even if it looked like it was gone, there's still a little green peeking through there. And then you can scrub through here and just make sure that you don't have any green kind of popping in um, throughout the shot. Uh, and then when you double check that, you can turn that back off. I will even start here sometimes and just key out with key display on and then go in and see if I can get rid of that edging a little more. Another way to key out is you can click these different boxes uh, up top here. So rather than selecting a color with the eyedropper, you can select it according to this and you can see the key changes. And then inside here, you can manipulate what green you're selecting by this little kind of circular thing. And then these outside rings would be the feather away from that color. So you can see I got rid of that green out of her even more, but if I turn my key display on, you can see the green started to get rid of that top there a little. So I want to bring that back, turn that back off. And that actually looks pretty good. That looks better than it did before. And then these, these buttons down here are all incremental changes to this. So if you turn this 100, you'll see that the circle kind of move and it's gradually being more blue inside of that green shot, a little more pink in that green shot, a little more uh, orange in there. So that's how you would select this. And once again, I always just tell everyone, just double check that key display because you don't, the last thing you want is like an arm missing that looks like it's there when you're doing it like this. So once that's done, let's go back to key display or back to uh, the color dropper here. And the thing you can do in here is enable rectangle. So what that'll do is that'll actually crop inside the shot as well. So you can just draw a rectangle of the thing you want to key out. So as you can see, there were these little wings off to the side. I weren't worried about that when we shot it, but because we knew we could just crop that out. You could also put a mask on it later, but this it's just easier to just do it in here. So you can just crop that out like that. And I like that key pretty well, so let's go back to that. And hit OK. And so now Rena is standing there without anything behind her, and she's left all by herself. So we're basically home now, and we can add a background to her. So let's just... I'm just going to add a plain color mat of white just to kind of show her. So drop that color mat down on there. Oops, don't want this. So drop that color mat down on there. And you can see she's just sitting there on a white background. And that's how you would chroma key a talent to put them in an artificial environment. One more thing I want to mention about doing this, if you have anything where you want the talent to be behind something, obviously put them on the layer above and anything you want behind her you would put on the layer below. So if it's a background with some text or anything like that, put that on the layers below. And if it's a um, video that you want to come in front of her or a text that you want to fly in front of her, Put that on the layer above. But that's doing a green screen in Edius. Hope that helps.